Bleeding Edge subscribers, welcome back. 1%. That's how much growth Microsoft saw in its AI business over the last quarter. Just a single percent of growth. As most of you know, Microsoft reported their earnings last week, and most of the attention was placed on the company's Azure data center business, which serves more or less as a hub for virtually everything Microsoft is doing in AI. And back in December, the company reported AI services contributed 6% growth to the Azure business. This quarter, only 7% growth. That's sequential growth of only 1% in AI server demand. Uh, meanwhile, Microsoft is on track to increase its spending on its AI data centers 50% this year to a whopping $50 billion. All this spending for just 1% AI growth over the past three months? There must be more to this, and good news there is. During the conference call, Microsoft executives revealed uh, something rather extraordinary. That's because in an era of cloud computing and downloadable software, there's actually rarely been a time when demand has outstripped supply. Occasionally, you'll have websites that crash because of a surge in traffic, but it's usually a temporary occurrence. That's because over the past decade or so, companies like Microsoft and Amazon and Google, they've invested billions of dollars in cloud computing infrastructure, and it makes these outages uh, somewhat of a rare occurrence. But if you've been keeping up with the AI data center trends, you know that AI is different. Instead of relying on rather common CPUs, AI applications rely on purpose-built GPUs, which are primarily designed by NVIDIA. With AI really only taking off in popularity over the past year, data center providers are still playing catch up. And Microsoft admitted that. On the earnings conference call, CFO Amy Hood said this, right this minute, we do have demand that exceeds our supply by a bit. Microsoft is seeing such high demand for its AI services, the company doesn't have enough server capacity to even keep up. Now, I know I've been pounding the table on AI here on this newsletter for a while now. And, it, and look, it's not like I don't have the expertise to discuss other ideas and sectors, but none of them present the opportunity we're seeing right now in the AI data center. Companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Meta have committed to spend hundreds of billions of dollars on the data center just over the next couple years. If you start looking out five to 10 years, you're talking a trillion dollars. This is up dramatically as much as 50% higher than before. And it's not just in hopes of catching the AI trend. Hundreds of billions of dollars are being spent because these companies have overwhelming demand for AI products and services. A recent survey of chief financial officers or CFOs revealed that companies are turning to AI to save money. Nearly half of the CFOs in the survey said they're prioritizing investments in technology over job cuts as the primary solution for cutting expenses in the coming year. In this environment where consumers and companies are uncertain how long inflation will last, and how long interest rates will remain higher for longer. AI is one of the few certain ways to cut costs without having to lay off valuable employees. And I know I've said this before, but I want you to profit from this mega trend because one thing is certain, there's no way to know how long this AI data center spending will last, but it will end at some point. That's why I suggest at the very least, having some additional exposure to the semiconductor industry inside of your portfolio. That would be as simple as adding the SMH ETF or the SOX ETF, which hold a basket of the most valuable and most popular semiconductor companies. With Microsoft seeing AI demand outpace supply, you know these companies are gonna err on the side of overspending in the coming months. That means semiconductor demand will remain high for the foreseeable future. That was the Bleeding Edge for today. A lot of fun stuff coming later this week, and I'll see you then.